Do you want to start or should I? I'm nervous. I'm actually nervous too. Yeah. I was coming up here. I was like, mm, gotta have butterflies. Yeah. I, it's like I've never done this before. I know. Um, but this is episode 113 and it's no longer peaches and cream. Um, shout out to anyone that knew who they were. Yeah. Shout out. Um, I don't know anything related to 113. <laughs> Obviously, 13 is Taylor Swift's lucky number. And one, thirteen, eleven, and then there's three, so that's fourteen. And then obviously, that didn't sound 13, like anything that you just said right there. I know, but they're numbers, and they're together, and obviously, it means something. Okay, and it's just important. Welcome back to Are We Still Friends? To Are We Still Friends? Um, Sarah has a brand new outfit on. Bam, 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 and bam. if you didn't know, it is a little butter yellow sweater, which butter yellow is very in. Is it? Yeah, it's super in. Can I say that yellow is my power couple? I mean, my power color. <laughs> is it? I think blue. Yeah, no, I looked it up on Google. What do you mean? How do you find that out? Um, I think you type in your sign, which is crazy that you don't know this. But you, I think you type in your sign and it tells you what color is your power color. And mine is yellow. Is that just your birthstone? No, my birthstone is emerald. Oh. Alex, can you look up a Scorpio's power color? Yes. Don't get it confused for power couple. Yeah. As we both and are And you've been in. clowning me lately for all my... Um, what? For all my... Oh, Scorpio, oh. Gemini, sign. Do you have a guess? I think it's going to be Red. orange. It's black. Oh, <laughs> I love wow. black clothing. I know. I mean, who doesn't? Good color. It is. I mean, I, I feel like I kind of got gypped. If you're a Scorpio, our um, birth sign or birthstone is topaz or something. It's like orange. Oh, that's brown. Okay. Well, I never liked it as a kid. Yeah. I wanted. There's to better be colors than brown. Diamond. For sure. Oh, you want to be diamond? <laughs> yeah. Or like. <laughs> green were you a girly girl i mean i know you had a bowl cut um i had I had phases okay different phases um but yeah butter yellow's in she's wearing a little yellow alex you can't fart in here <laughs> <laughs> we made him laugh you but it's we that's true yeah when we win we both win we do yeah we're we're the universal we yeah anywho put on your hood okay she has a little hood in the back and she said when i put on my hood i feel like obi-wan kenobi yes do i look cute that's I not obi-wan watching. kenobi that's star trek same <laughs> thing you can't just be in the sky and pretend it's the same We're in the space. all space is not treated equally <laughs> you know uh, yeah it's not it's not because it, it treats your bodies differently space mm-hmm what do you mean? Gravitational pull. So like if I was in a different gravitational pull, like maybe I'd be like a You'd age model. differently. Is that a myth? Because we debunked no, that as no, a society, no. remember? <laughs> it's not. We no, said no, we that we just, shot twins into space. Remember? We no. shot twins. Yes, yes, yes. And the we twins did. stayed the same. We, we did. shot them to space. And it, that was not the case. There were significant differences. But let's not unravel in this. Okay, okay. So you got a new sweater. I got a new sweater. I got a new necklace. For my birthday. Yeah. And like, I know it's chuggy to have an it's initial I, on your necklace. I had an M for a while, but it broke. Oh, got to redo that. You got to yeah. get another one. Yeah. But I just, I was like, I'm going to chug it up. I want Way's initial, you know, and it's, it's my old initial. So it's like, a, it's a two for onesie. I know. You know, it's chuggy now. What's chuggy? Saying chuggy. And it's funny that. Yeah, chuggy saying chuggy is chuggy. Fuck. Um, but remember my whole rant about socks. <laughs> <laughs> Which time? <laughs> the one with Hunter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, it has now come out, and I think I led this movement. <gasps> oh, of course oh, you yeah, did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where um, ankle socks, like girls will put on outfit millennial girls will put on outfits and be like how do i look like and they they look super stylish and yeah. super hip but they have ankle socks you know and when you talk about the whole... length of socks i don't get what you're saying okay like, i have no reference I, ones that are hidden in the shoe oh okay like non-slip socks non-slip 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. so you have a no sock shows. on. No of, shows. No shows. Socks. Okay. And they're wearing no shows. And it's like, mm, no, your socks have to show. That's the, that's what's in. And that's what, how I feel, but not for fashionable, just, just for looks, you know? Okay. I mean, well, isn't fashionable looks? Yeah. That didn't really make sense. So, but also functionality because they won't slip off if they're up on your ankle or calf. I do like that. So that's in. And, but you know, on that note, what's really in that I'm having a hard time with is ballet flats. No, uh, they're dead. <laughs> they're so back. I and hate them. Everyone's wearing them. Like people were wearing them with sweatpants. People Disgusting. are wearing them with dressy outfits. Can't be cute. They do look cute. No, they never do. But all I think when I see that is your feet smell. I know. I know. I wore ballet flats for a long, long time. <laughs> a long time. They were my jam. And then I said, enough. And enough. I threw them all away. And I said, thank God tennis shoes are back because my feet stunk every night. And I don't even have, you guys have seen my feet. They're clean. That's they're not, true. They're not stinky looking feet. You do have nice soft looking feet. And it's just absurd to me that we are bringing that back because there's no way scientifically that your feet aren't going to smell. Yeah. But people are going to willing to risk it for that kind of fashion. Like I'm willing to smell for fashion. I'm like, willing to stink. I like a ballet flat Mary Jane. It's what? cute. What do you mean? It's got the little strap over the foot right here. Just don't think it's cute. It's cute. And I've seen it and it's cute. And I, I want to be in, but like, I just don't think I can deal with feet smelling. I just don't think I can. I don't think you should have to. And and I think that that's where you I'm going to draw the line. You know what you could do? You could put socks on in those ballet shoes because I've seen, it's very Gossip Girl to me. I feel like that could be a look. And to the ankle, a little ruffle, a little fruitful. But I will say, ruffle, what, the other thing that is in that I am opting for because I own them are black loafers with socks. A little grandpa loafer with socks. Okay. That I think is okay because it's, it's got more, more sturdiness than a ballet flat. So you need sturdiness. You don't want an ankle roll. I I don't want f smelly feet or lack of sturdies. Also, when you wear a ballet flat, your feet are basically just touching the cement. Yeah. If you step on a rock in a ballet shoe, exactly, pff, your life's over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how bad it hurts to step on a rock in a ballet flat? Oh You're God. screaming. When remember when I stepped on a rock in a sock and I had an injury on my foot for a whole week. Oh, okay. Well, I did. And um, anyway, that was my rant. And I, I think I'm going to be into loafers and socks, but I don't think I'm going to get into the ballet flats. Let us know where you stand as a society. I think as a society, we should all band together and burn our flats. Burn them. A flat party, a flat burning party. Yeah, it's like we'll burn our bras and then we'll burn our flats and then like we'll just well, you get need bras. It. Yeah, but like it's the sentiment. Like let's burn them. Okay. What do you, you like can, about bras? Well, I mean, who likes a bra? I love a bra. Have you not worn a comfortable bra? Of course, but we all as a nation want to burn them. No. I thought we were on board with burning bras. No. Are you kidding me? You keep your bra on just like... I sleep with a bra. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're the 1%. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> no <laughs> nobody nobody listening to this wants to sleep in a bra what kind of bra are you sleeping in no an underwire no one oh god oh god oh god sports burn underwire bras okay yeah underwire bras should only be for lingerie what <laughs> <laughs> You mean lingerie? Yeah. Okay, so you, that was just like a Sarahism where you just changed the word because you like because it better. Because I felt like it. Whew, okay, it's for some, I was like, I'm about to blow your world, baby. <laughs> it's lingerie. Okay. No, there's just there's just some words that don't make sense. You know, I get it. It is lingerie. That's <laughs> just like gymboree. Yeah, I mean, like, listen, I can't spell the word, so I shouldn't be able to say the word. Lingerie leads to gymboree. I like gymboree. Well, it's for kids. I know. Do you get it? Yeah. Because you're going to have sex. Oh, I get it now. 
Boom roasted. You got me. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Um, okay, so no underwire. Okay. Well, let's just get back to the hot topics because we've blown each other's minds for five full minutes now. Yeah. Let's talk about things. Okay. This next one, you know, is um <laughs> You're not going to understand it. Okay. Don't tell me what I will and will not understand. Okay. Tell me. Um, So there's someone in this room who's like really, really into a movie about apes. Oh my God. I've heard and, of him. Um, I've heard of him. Yeah. And trust me, I didn't know he was into apes, but the past couple of weeks have been ape heavy on yeah. his page. So I was like, ape okay. Heavy. <laughs> so there's a new one out in theaters, but I can't raw dog that one until I catch up on the other ones. And, I've seen the other ones, but they were so long ago. So long ago. And you're never going to rewatch an ape movie. <laughs> <laughs> so I um, rewatched one, two, and three. Okay. And I bought them mm-hmm. because I guess I'm going to rewatch them. <laughs> Wait, why did you just rent? I know. Sometimes I just feel like, well, what if I need to go back to it? But the thing is, you just said you'll never rewatch an ape movie. Like, rewind the tape. I know. But now know. they're now they're on your repertoire. <laughs> Um, I had seen the first two, but I hadn't seen the third one. Um, I was really into it. Um, Noel, not so much. He liked it, but like the the intenseness on my face while I watched the Apes movie was like unlike any other movie. Well, we one thing about you is we know that you think everything is real. So you were watching this movie as if it occurred. Oh, yeah. So yeah. that's the intensity for you is going to be high. Noelle's watching this as if it's only a movie. Yes, you're right. You're Very right. different things. Yeah. So I won't, I won't, I won't, you know, I won't say his review for him. He liked it. It was fine. But I was like, <gasps> you know, I was making sounds. Gasp. Yeah. While Gasp we were watching. Gasp. 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 If you don't know what it's about. Apes. <laughs> <laughs> It is a movie about lab testing on apes. Oh my God, PETA. Or an Alzheimer disease. Oh. And it makes them really smart. Ooh, wow, give me some. But it kills humans. Bummer. Yes. Wow, that really took a turn for me. I know. So they can speak, they can speak. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) That seems to be really, really crazy is that they can speak. Which like... I don't really think that that's that's a crazy parrot. And it's talk. interesting that they chose English as their preferable language. Yeah, they could we have know, chosen anything. No, they wouldn't have. It seems like they would have chose like Greek or Latin. I know something. One more of the originals. Personal. Yeah. Anyway, um, so what'd you come to a conclusion? Well, my conclusion was, <sighs> yeah, it was a lot of apes. Okay, but where are the lady apes? Okay, there was so much testosterone. There uh, was so much. Oh, male on it male. was male on male. It kind of reminded me of like how dudes who don't know how to express their feelings, like how they hang out with each other. Ooh. Because yeah. they, they're just like a pack of dudes. Because <laughs> it like there was only one lady ape. You're kidding me. In the whole thing. How is the ape staying afloat with one lady ape? Exactly. And everything else was just male. And I'm like, I want to see some love story. some love well there was a love story with the one female ape but i want to see i want to see more ladies in the mix i want to see who's carrying the whole tribe on their back the ladies and it was just men and they'd just be like me angry bad ape oh wow so it doesn't seem like their english got no. really well War. oh that didn't make sense <laughs> <laughs> Me just proved bad at English. Yeah. And it was just like, uh, all right. like that, But it was so accurate to males. To men who can't express their feelings. And yeah. like probably, you know, we always wonder like, what do, what do yeah. men do when they yeah. hang out yeah. together? Yeah. yeah. If if it's a, gr- a grouple. A grouple of apes. A grouple of men. Yeah. That don't know how to express their feelings. Just words. That's how they would hang out. Wow, so we need to do some research on men and watch Planet of the Apes. Alex, what are you, what are your Did thoughts? Did you see the new ape oh, movie? Oh, well, we we don't have an hour, but yeah, <laughs> we summarize. I'll try to condense it, but Well, I've already explained what yeah, the, what is yeah. that? English apes, Alzheimer's humans. Yeah. But it, it the Oh, he's lost for he's words. Humans, so tongue-tied. Humans are dying out like from from the 
from Alzheimer's? The, no, no. So from the medicine that is created to try to cure Alzheimer's, a virus is made that also kills humans slash yeah. makes well, I haven't them seen primitive. the last one, so don't, yeah, don't, no, what, the don't third jump ahead. One. The, the movie fourth. theater one. Well, no, I mean, that happened in, in the second and the third one. People are dying. Out yeah, I know. I just want to make sure that you're yeah, not yeah. giving spoilers. Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't give any spoilers for the first Okay. One. Yeah. But yeah, it's cool because, I mean, the first one is just them, like, it's called Rise of the Planet of the Apes, and they're, it's the, the apes are getting smarter. Mm-hmm. And then two and three are, like, them building a society and, like, them, like, mm. coexisting slash not existing with humans. What do you think about that being how men. Is that how oh, you and your boys oh, I, talk? I, I, I totally agree. That's I that, think you can hit, that's talk a, about your emotions. That's a good. But I, I can do I was better. Say, but Alex are, is pretty good with emotion. Yeah, yeah he's pretty good yeah. with emotion. But, but have you ever hung out around a group of guys and they're like, oh, 100%. Me, Koba, Koba hungry. Not. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. That's a really good way to put it is to describe it as uh, thick skulled men mm-hmm. <laughs> trying to talk and about it. was like, after three of them, I was like, I need some ladies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some lady apes. I need to. Uh, there's some more lady power in three. I mean, not power, I guess, but there's just more of his like wife being involved in three. She dies. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, it's been she, out for yeah. like five years. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. If not more. Mm. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, if I have like 15 hours to kill, it's I, like my next thing. It's not even just to, to enjoy. Oh, sorry. Like, to thoroughly enjoy 15 hours. Okay. Like, you watch well, these movies. Where are all of the chimpanzees that's that's there some of them are them where are all of the little orange haired cute orangutans the, well orangutans. Mar- is an orangutan that's not how i picture an orangutan <laughs> well, that's, a that's grown how, orangutan that, that is a full-size orangutan that's how they look when they they're, get older they're massive they're so you're massive. telling me little tiny guy with a belly what, 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 what do you, what, what do you, <laughs> you Ollie, you know the universal orangutan? No. You mean like the one on an emoji? Like, no, that's just classic monkey. You know, like emoji cla- classic monkey. You know the classic one that was getting tossed around in the in the in two thousand tens. No, I don't remember the <laughs> universal two thousand ten monkey. Look up orangutan twenty ten. Oh my god! So you're telling me? Yeah, th- those little guys become those big guys. They yeah. become Maurice. Yeah, Maurice is an orangutan. Yeah. Big ass motherfucker. Wow. Just a true arc. I wasn't really happy with the names they chose either. Like that wasn't a Maurice. That okay. was totally a Maurice. But um, one other thing I was going to say was that I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. That's how, how Shakespearean the conflict got at the end with Koba and Caesar facing off that. Is that what you're going to talk about? No, I mean, we knew Koba was bad. He was just a rep- like he was just a scar in another universe. That's a good point. We knew like okay, monkey with a crazy scar on his face is going to be a bad guy. Yeah, because he got tortured by humans and he can't forgive them. And yeah. Caesar, well, Caesar is blinded by his love for apes, for his fellow apes. Ugh, it's beautiful. It's I wish I could join here. Yeah, but uh... <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> you gotta watch them, Sarah. They're so yeah, good. I think you'd find a lot of enjoyment out of it. It's just. It's just such a silly time. You know, you're like, I'm watching apes talk. And everybody's, every, it's like the big thing online now. It's like everybody's new favorite franchise. Like Everyone's new favorite franchise. Set online, it is. everybody's talking. It is, but I was giggling like, you guys, it's been on since 2011. Yeah. Like, when I was in college, I was, I was out. I don't know. I feel like I have a current stick up my ass about just like animation. It's like, not It's not even anim- it's it's not not animation. animation. It's motion capture. Okay, it's motion capture. It's like, these aren't real apes really talking to each other. Like, I just got to stick up my butt about it recently. That's all I'm saying, you guys. I got to stick up my butt about it. I'm like, okay, so like, yeah, it's it's all like computer animated. But every, mm-hmm. everybody loves it. And I'm just, my, personally, I have beef with it because I've been a day one apester. Okay, just bring it. You know, no, 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 you've no, never no, been no. a day one Let's, apester. You I never have, mentioned Planet have, of the Apes have, before six months I have, ago. Yeah. I have a Planet of the Apes tattoo. Whoa. Okay, that's <laughs> what? Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 If he yeah, has yeah. a Planet of the Apes tattoo. Wait, the Apes was tat- it six months ago when you no, started watching it? No, no. I've been. When, when, what, what year did you get the ape tattoo? The year that I got the ape tattoo, 2011? it got it got started in twenty eleven. No, I'm, I would have been thirteen. Well, start early. Twenty two thousand eleven was the first movie. I know. Oh, you do not need to lecture me on the Planet of the Apes movie. Well, there was more probably in the fifties, yeah, right? But the first one is nineteen sixty eight, and that's the tattoo that I have. Okay. Alex, let other what people year? be into apes. <laughs> well, no, don't I, be a fucking true blue fan who's like, don't like apes. Oh, oh, I like apes. Oh, I'm just oh, a bandwagon oh, ape fan. Bandwagon. Like Alex. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. 
Look at a new movie's out. People are excited. Look yeah. at Alina. But now everyone's like, oh, this is the best series ever. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, I fucking know. No, I've, those people I've haven't watched Harry I've been Potter. watching this for decades. Star me, Wars. Me and my college Lightyear. roommates. Lord of the Rings. Me and my college roommates would be doing the that. We're doing the ape permission thing. The ape hand thing. We were walking around. Can I have a hit? And we would smack each other's hands like an ape. Uh, I think hey, I that looks just, like a weird ball thing. Like, yeah. It looks like you're looking. It is, it I'm just like saying, this. I think all your other interests that you have every three weeks have yeah. clouded my understanding of this like like to me like barbie you know yeah like, that was a big one yeah i've just never heard of apes so what year did you get the tattoo the, so the first part of the tattoo i got in i don't want 20, two part answers well i got the tattoo in two parts <laughs> i got the tattoo in two parts so 2019 okay yeah that's still pretty recent <laughs> it's like basically five that's years fun. ago yeah but we don't, we don't count covid times so obviously that was before okay. exactly <laughs> was, so this was this was six two years ago, ago. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah yeah okay now i have the most ridiculous thing Hit. The uh, whole hit. time I watched it, I just thought of Ollie. Oh I, I'm, I'm sure. What do you watch, <laughs> Ollie? That you're not thinking of Ollie. You like, look sick <laughs> in a day, and you're like Ollie. I look uh, like I was. I would watch, and then I'd look over, and I'd be like, he kind of looks like Caesar, <laughs> or like he kind of looks like his little baby. Oh my God! You and Ollie, just the dynamic duo, and like I can't even squeeze my way in. I know. I've given up on Ollie. I know. Okay. <gasps> After today, this morning, come on, you guys. Like, I have to, like, let him go and let I him do his own he thing. Can, he can hear this. Like, but this is what I'm going to do it. You know when you love something so much you have to let it go if it comes back, it's for you? I'm doing that with Ollie. I'm letting... I think you let go a long time ago <laughs> when you showed no interest in him. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Fine, agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. Okay, so... Northwest... And I hate to... I hate to... to Talk, <laughs> to talk crap about a 10 year old Let's not. okay <laughs> like we should move on <laughs> wait i didn't watch it though i saw the content I but i didn't watch it she got cast as a guest role on the lion king at the hollywood bowl okay it just kind of felt like there was all this talent and then she was like this nepo baby implant on the stage well, did it bring people to the show Maybe that's what she was trying to do. It was a guest appearance. Okay. I don't think anyone knew about it. Oh, there was a surprise. I think people were going to see the Lion, Lion King, King regardless. Okay, Lion of King Northwest. Was standing on its own. Yes. <laughs> it is a franchise that has been around for Have you seen it on the stage? No, I okay. won't watch musicals. I can only see musicals on the stage. Um, so it just was bad. It it just sounded like like what you sound like in the shower. Which to me is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it just Alex, did you see it? Did you think it was it was it was kind of yeah? I didn't. I didn't. It was kind of lackluster. All I saw were the, was that she was there and she was in it. Yeah, just her inclusion. It just felt like it felt like a bring your kid to work day. Like yeah, yeah, vibe like, thing. It's good for a ten year old for sure, but not when you compare it to ten year olds that are like on very Broadway. good on yeah, Broadway. Yeah, 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 a hundred percent. You could clearly you could clearly see it's like this. She's not. She wasn't cast like. Yes. Out of a list of thousands. They're just like, all right, fuck it. Let's put Northwest up there. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to let me play devil's advocate against okay. you guys right now. Right. Because of who she is, everything that she would try as a kid is like on a stage. Like we would, we would maybe at 10 be like, oh, I'm interested in musicals and go to a fucking musical on our local thing. Mm -hmm. But because of who she is, she doesn't. But not at the Hollywood Bowl. Exactly. That's what I mean. But because she is famous already, like her trying something out, like is on this like strangely bigger stage because of her parents, right? It's also on a, it's on a bigger stage period. She's on the Hollywood Bowl. I understand yeah. what you're saying here. Like where, everything that she tries is like magnified. Absolutely. And like is like way bigger than anything a normal yeah, 10 year old would do. That she could have done a school play. She exactly. could have done it in her backyard. She, I agree. Exactly. I agree. But don't you think her parents are putting her in those positions? Or do you think she's just like, oh, no, it's I'm not her fault. It's no, not her okay. fault at all. No, if, no. if her parents are like, hey, we're going to get you this. She's not going to have the agency of mind to be like, like, no, I'm not as talented as you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's not right. It's I not totally agree. Yeah. Yeah. It's not her yeah. fault. The one thing I will say is she's a great like paint. Like the, the paintings that she does. Yeah, those are pretty. I can do that shit. Yeah. She's good at like, I don't doubt that she's like, talented I think she's creative for, for sure a hundred percent yeah have the well, she's hours. 10 she's but 10 let her do things privately sh for sure okay. are you her mom yeah 
I should be. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> but I no. agree. She, she should be doing a school play, yes. not the Hollywood. Play. Yes, I agree. I agree. Let her fucking try things like a normal ten year old without the eyes on it. But I don't know. Like her, her mom's putting the eyes on her by putting it on Instagram, right? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. if no one, if this wasn't on Instagram, if Kim didn't post about well, it no, to her no, four hundred millions, it's all the people at the Hollywood Bowl. Okay, okay, okay. But okay. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to take out your phone. You were just up to have a no, performance. I, 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 <laughs> I feel like this is the part that you're like looking past Sarah is that it wasn't that she was just like in a performance somewhere. She was at the Hollywood Bowl. She was like a she, massive she was, stadium. I know. Kind of she event. was she was singing in I just can't wait to be king. She was she, sing- I thought she was like a background dancer. No, no, no. no the, the for the for like the I just can't wait to be king part of Lion King, she was Simba. Oh wow. Yeah. She was main stage. Yeah, yeah. she was in the middle. Like yes. Wow. Yeah. You're saying her singing was awful. I don't think she I don't even know what she was singing. She was just like standing there in a hoodie much like yourself your own. Okay, don't don't bring my hoodie into this. <laughs> but that's I know. I, I'll, I'll pull it up. But that's Yeah, can you pull it, just I'll play pull the audio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I don't know if I play the I'll play the video because the, the audio would be the song. It's really not very close. Okay, okay, okay. She did a horrible job. <laughs> I don't think it, it will even recognize. <laughs> oh my um, gosh. And meanwhile, I want to show you what's going on right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you were looking at one of my favorite people? Yeah, did you know about this? Oh, that he's going to be on the stage? That he's going to be in Romeo and Juliet? He's going to be Paris? Can I tell you how much I'm into that? 10 out of 10. Everyone, Tom Holland got a new haircut. He's bringing back Eurocut. Love it. I'm so into Eurocut. I'm so into it. But I feel like if anyone else did this. But it's a new haircut for Romeo and Juliet. Like it's specific for the play. Come on. Look at that face. That's so British of him. I'm so into it. Okay. But like, could you see this haircut on everyone? No, you got to be Tom Holland to pull that shit off. That's what I'm saying. It's like. But that's like me. Like I saw Gigi's hair and I was like, let me cut mine like that. And look what happened. Well, you look great. Okay, watch. When I'm sick of this long hair, I'm getting that haircut. Right? Yeah, it's so cool. I love that buzz. It's so cool. Yeah. <gasps> I mean, I gotta say, it's fucking ballsy for a 10-year-old. <laughs> she, she's, it's not like she's like putting herself out of here. Like, no, but like, I'd be so scared. Okay, okay, okay. These are professionals. This is the Hollywood Bowl. <laughs> Spotlight. I'm not, and I'm not a good singer. I'm not saying I'm better, but I'm saying I should have been. Yeah. They should have put me okay, in there. Okay. Okay. Also, I can't also make but fun your of parents should put you little. in situations where you're getting exactly. roasted. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like yes, that's what I mean. It's like no, that's not what you mean. You've been you've been like <laughs> pro everything about pro. the whole situation. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just saying, like, if I was 10, I don't know if I could have done that. I would, I'm just Sarah, saying. Look at her parents. Of course, like, she's had a lot more practice than 10 year old us. I know. I just feel, you know, I, again, in this room, like, you like, guys, I'm at, look at balls. I mean, cashmere. I don't like it when you don't <laughs> hate on. Oh, okay, okay. You guys, that, that role should have been for somebody else who could have hit that note. I mean that seems perfectly Who normal. Who reached out to Kim and made North that's do That's what this. they're trying to. That's what people are trying to uh, uncover. You know, but like who we'll would, never know. Yeah. We'll never know. Anyway, speaking of lions, I have been extremely invested. Oh my god! In something new on my feed. You're kidding. And Alex, you're gonna have to pull this up because you may cry. <gasps> you no, may cry. I don't want to cry. What are you invested? I'm in? on Barbary Lion Talk. How do you get the places you're going? How do you get there? I don't know. How do you? I don't know. But I got this video and it was someone photographing the last Barbary lion seen in the wilderness. Wait, I'm not sure what those words mean. What do these words mean? And I cried. I bawled. I feel like you're a ball of tears recently. What's a Barbary lion and why is it uh, old? It's, it's, um, it's not old. Well, you said the early like 1900s. Well, that was the last time it was seen existing in the wild so now they exist but they're like captive captive this was the this was the last time it was seen in the wild it is yes i don't uh, what 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 makes it different hold on pause you're showing me basically an image of a cliff what the hell is going on here there's a lion there i can't that could be that could be literally ollie in a photo thank you for showing me ollie 
Alex. Wow, so it's not making you cry? A That's black and la- white photo of Ollie. It's 1942. Well, okay, color it. <laughs> okay, anyway, the Barbary line is like four or five times the size of a regular lion. It's Are you insane. kidding me? It's as big as... A shark? As a Hummer, an old school Hummer. You're lying to my face. No, it's absolutely... Can I get a, a size reference then? Show me like a like an actual Barbary lion. Okay. Can you like feel for the things that I feel? Yeah, 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 yeah. Today? Are you kidding me? Like that picture of the lion? <laughs> <laughs> like they walked off where'd he go exactly and where do all the endangered species they go? die out maybe they go to a land that they can't be killed anymore where uh it's like the line the witch in the wardrobe you know no like so, mary poppins bag for animals exactly they're like we're almost dying out we got to escape in the wardrobe then they go there okay that lion picture though that 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 lion was contemplating life he was looking for you know some way out so what's going on with Barbary lion stock? You can't say a Barbary. Like everyone knows what a Barbary everyone lion is. Everyone knows what a Barbary lion is. You didn't know before you got to Barbary lion talk. Yeah, but once I got there, I was like, everyone else is in agreement. <laughs> we all know and understand. So these lions are the ones that are massive, the size of a Hummer. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. Well, why would people kill these Barbary lions? Well, they extinct out because they can't survive in, without food. Okay, so we killed their food. <laughs> They extincted <laughs> themselves out because they ran out of gazelles. Wow, you know they eat gazelles? Duh. I'm all over Barbary Lion Talk. The Cape Lion weighs uh, weighed between 330 and 500 pounds. The Barbary Lion is 400 to 600 pounds. Oh, so it's that's not barely a big heifer. Come on. In size versus... That's not a Hummer. A Hummer is probably what? 15K pounds? 15,000? You can't pick up a Hummer. But it's not 15,000 pounds. Yeah. Okay, 8,000. Also, no. That to me just looks like a, oh, oh, you can have a lion as a pet. That's what it's that's massive. Telling. It's beautiful. It's massive. Okay, let me just look at this comparison no, really it's quick. About, it's about to be a video. I know all the lines that come up on the search oh, already. Oh, shit, Barbary lion. Oh, damn. It's big. You know what's crazy is that's a cat. <laughs> They really get me with that. It's really big. I thought those were just uh, lady lions. Look at this. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Honestly, why is it anywhere near a car? Oh, that's a zoo lion? That's a captivity. It's about to... It's captive. Yeah. I don't really so understand what, how things go extinct, but that's not the point, okay? Okay, what is the point? The point is... Yeah. Get that them. is crazy. That they're gone? That... That was the last... We one. have the photo of it in the wild... And that's the last time that we've seen it that we know of. And there it is again. And would you say that people are on the hunt? Like this is like kind of like the search for gold. Like we're all kind of doing the California gold rush to find these Barbary lions. I like, don't think anyone's trying to find them anymore. Oh, okay. Well, I think we've accepted what's if happened. No one's trying to find them. Have we even looked under rocks? Looked past mountains? I, I'm on your side, Elena. This is like an um, this is like an emotional photo. He's like walking off into the sunset. It feels like he's the he's last alone. one. He's alone. Does it have a lady? There's no, there's no Caesar by pride himself. with him. Exactly, exactly. Walking really off into the sunset, the last animal. Could have well, just what taken a beautiful a, photo. A Maybe his family was fucking annoying him. He's like, can I just take a minute, you guys? <laughs> Sarah, let's just say, imagine you were there, imagine riding how, that lion. No, imagine how horrible the last photo. Of the Barbary line would have been if you took the photo. <laughs> like how insane that that it's that a beautiful of a photo. I bet I could take that. <laughs> if I got my camera turned on, I'd be able to take that beautifully. Civil War should take notes. <laughs> this is how photos should look. It's gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, it's a gorgeous but photo. Just imagine. I mean, even me. Like, no, I take pretty good photos. You do take good I photos. do, I do. But imagine it was someone who unskilled in photography and they captured the last one. That's what's going to happen in 2024 when we find things that are now going extinct. Like this was the last known lemur. Mm. I don't think the lemurs wild. have the same kind of impactful photos. Well, like a lion. No, but hold on, hold on. Oh. And it's like some 80 year old man took it and it's blurry. And it's like, that's what gets 
That's what gets published in a TikTok 20 years from now. This was the last known photo of this lemur. And it's like a smudgy oiled camera. (laughs) Are you getting it? I see what you're saying. I mean, that'd be crazy. I see what you're saying. But like, it wouldn't have the same impact because it'd be in color. Nothing in color is the same impact. Back in white, you know what it exudes? Mm. Loneliness, sadness. It really does. The end of something beautiful. It really, really does. Can you change your photos on your camera to be black and white? Yes. We should do that and just start pay- taking pictures of everything, just in case. Just in case. So, so that, that it way- it be epic? Yes, and we'll, when, uh, I don't know who's going to reach out, but if someone reaches out, we can be like, I have the last photo of this, and by God, it's in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh. let's move on, because oh, my God. funny. Okay. <laughs> I, I, Sorry. Do you want to go to one of yours? Um, yeah, I had something that, I, <sighs> well, that doesn't give me much conviction. I know. I know. I had something to say, but I was like, have we talked about this? Because this is something that seems very you. Okay. And I've been thinking a lot about it. I've been thinking a lot about the fact that like when we were growing up, jaywalking was illegal. Like It was a did, big it deal. It was a big fucking deal. Yeah. Like if you're with your friends and they're like, let's cross, you'd be like, oh, <laughs> You can get a ticket for that. You can get a ticket. We got to get to the crosswalk. We're not going to fucking jaywalk. But I think that's because we live on the West Coast. I don't think it was ever that big of a deal on the East Coast. Because they're they're jaywalking all the time. Are you just... They taught me jaywalking. You can't just say New York is the East Coast, though. Because I feel like in your mind... It is. You're just being like, East Coast, New York. It is. Florida is the East Coast. That's the East South Coast. Virginia? East... So you think they were jaywalking there? And I think anyone that's kind of Maine? in Virginia and Maine, they may have come from New York, if we're being honest. So like everyone kind of sprouted there and just like yeah. swerved out? Yeah. Okay, so you're saying as West Coast kids, we were incapable of walking across the street due to going to jail. Yeah. But in New York City, kids were flying street to street. For sure. So East Coast millennials, were you scared of jaywalking? Yeah, I need to know. Alex, you grew up on the East Coast. No, you you cross this. You don't. You cross the street wherever you want in New York. Yeah, yeah. You I own the roads. That. You're in New York, but I'm saying you are in New York. Ask bitch. the question. In, in, in suburban New Jersey, I would also oh, cross the street. He would train in. Okay, yeah. train okay, in. Okay. But but also yeah, like I, it's also still illegal in California to jaywalk, but cops just aren't allowed to. Uh, stop, like arrest you or fine you for it unless like you're causing a danger of some kind. Oh, they've California. amended the rule. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's like it's still technically illegal, but like they're not going to stop you if you're jaywalking across yeah. an empty road. Uh, jaywalking was like part of the Dare program. Really? It was like really not really, but like that's that's how big it was. Yeah, because I was felt like, like adjacent it was a, to like yes. there would be a campaign in your classroom about jaywalking, jaywalking. and they'd bust out the rolly tv and they'd put in the tape and they'd be like this is what happens when you jaywalk this is what happens when you have sex and this yes. is what happened happens you when you say yes to marijuana oh my god you're going downhill or was it jaywalk have sex and cross the street i mean and do marijuana yeah do marijuana it's like i've never smoked in my life i you know doing any marijuana <laughs> i know then you're going straight to jail jail Wow. Okay. So I felt like you saw me and I just want you to know I was about to jaywalk the other day and I was like, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go to the sidewalk just I know. in case there's a well, cop. Good. Good. How does it feel to be seen when you bring up a topic? Because I'm zero for <laughs> two right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I saw you with eight. I really did. Okay. I saw you. With I mean, eight. that's the whole point is like, you are supposed to argue with me, but like yeah. when it's like back to back to back losses for me, I'm You're like, right. damn, she's not even understanding my wavelength right now. And no. I want to be understood. You're right. As and, a human being. And as jaywalking into my mind, I'd be like, I thought Alina's so with me on this. There's no way this bitch is crossing J style. I do now. Cause what I've been is, around a lot of East What does coasters. the J mean? J means jarring walking. <laughs> Just wait for the light <laughs> to walk. <laughs> Just juvenile. Juvenile. Alex? What's J? What does J stand for in J walking? Oh, is it because like this is the top, but you're going around? No. <laughs> Can't be. Could be. I'll, I'll look it up. Yeah. I have no idea. Wow. Walking across the street. 
<laughs> I like how you just cut your mic off. There. You're, like, you're like, that was wrong. That, that was, was wrong. really embarrassing. I so. was trying to think of Jay the whole way up. I was like, get there, get there. Never got there. Yeah. Okay. While he looks that up, I have something. Or, that was one way I had to make sure I was going to hit. For sure. I just want to make sure there was nothing else. Do you have a bookie? Yeah, you do. Fuck. Yeah. Gone? In the corner. <laughs> Looks like you're doing coke. Before each episode? As a mother? Yeah, you got it. You got it. Um, as a mother? Oh, my God. I'm so hot in here, you guys. Like, someone has to bring, like, an industrial size fan. Okay, what does it stand for? According to Miriam. <gasps> And actually, according to Marriott, oh my God! <laughs> for the first few years that it was in use, Jay Walker had little to anything to do with pedestrians crossing the street, and was used solely to scold those who lacked sidewalk etiquette. <gasps> so, like, if you were just like an asshole walking on the street or walking on the sidewalk wrong, you were a Jay Walker. Both Jay Walker and Jay Driver are taken from a sense of the word Jay, meaning gr- a greenhorn or rube. It what does a- that mean? <gasps> Bam risk. Classic. Okay, keep going. I'm learning. I mean, I think that was kind of it. Yeah, I mean, there's there's really there's there's Jay doesn't, I don't feel it. more. It's just more like you're calling like this guy like kind of a like selfish walker or selfish yeah. driver. Yeah. You're a big, it's, uh, the Jay walker needs attention as well as the Jay driver and is about as big as a nuisance. I've never heard of that. I think they should call it Z walking. Z? Yeah, like zombie walking because you're more like a zombie to be just roaming you know and like what did the letter j ever do to us like and now it's just being used in this term that like it's bad yeah I j's want, are nice i wouldn't want my name to start with j me neither right about now i know embarrassing literally j Look embarrassing it. we're on the same side <laughs> i know okay i need to know where you stand on this oh my god it's it's gonna be a good one i mean you alex seems excited. Excited. I know. <laughs> alex, like i don't even care <laughs> but okay where do i stand where do i stand my good friend jess i know her yeah i love her i love her too she brought up how you know there isn't a ton of romance movies present day that are like as iconic like what are the iconic gen z romance movies Mm, 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 mm. which is a question that i'm posing to the audience okay but aside from that she was like well we had titanic of course and i was like wait 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 titanic was not a romance movie. Titanic was a disaster film. Titanic is a rom com. <laughs> no one would have gone to see Titanic uh-huh, uh-huh. if it was a fiction. Oh, I think we would have seen. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, what made that movie so impactful and lasted generations was that it's about an actual activ- activity. <laughs> <laughs> the ship sinking, big activity. An actual thing that happened in history no one no one no one that is not a romance yes it is listed as a romance movie a okay. romance slash like suspense or something thriller. Right, alex i would say romance thriller but historical historic romance thriller it is in no way a romance it's a death movie it's a movie about death i would consider that a romance just because someone dies doesn't mean it's not romance. Do you want me to? Yeah, it's please. Listed as romance slash adventure. Oh, adventure. Okay, I forgot about the word adventure. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's definitely a romance. To the bottom of the ocean. It's a it's a romance for the bottom well, of the ocean. Would you say that La La Land is not a romance movie? You know, I don't do musicals. Okay, that's a romance. Yeah, but they also don't have a happy <gasps> ending. They die. Well, no, oh. but there's it's not based off of a real life event. Okay, but it's still a romance movie that doesn't end up happy, so it's still a romance. Okay, well, movie. so let me think of a, a real. Okay, so what about any war movie of all time? So, uh, what? But that's like saying people would be invested about uh, Helen Keller's story if she was fake. I would be. No, well, no one. No, no one would wouldn't. care. Would you care? Well, I, uh, there's make believe movies that I'm investiga- investigated, <laughs> invested in. What about Lord of the Rings? Yeah, I'm not saying that. That's there's love. I feel like we've lost the plot action. here. What Sarah, are we talking I need about? you to follow us. Okay, this where are we? Because you're on a different wavelength on. from us this whole time. Okay, wait. Let you me- need to recalibrate. Okay, so you're saying that people wouldn't care about Titanic if it never happened. The movie titanic is iconic because it's based off of real life events Mm. or like the actual ship ship sinking 
That's the reason why the movie is so iconic. I feel like no. No. Like the, that happened and there was a movie based off of it. But like the movie Titanic is not what actually happened. Yeah. Yes, like, it is. No, you like, know how much James Cameron studied icebergs and the ship? Okay, yes. The one iceberg makes a blip appearance and like the ship So sinks. you're telling me the movie to you, Titanic, is about Leo and Rose. Yes. I think that if... I think that if that's is that the case, crazy? Yes, yes. <laughs> you are on another level this episode. Wait, so the movie Titanic to you is about the iceberg and how it hit mechanically? It's about... It's about the ship sinking and everyone dying. It's not about a romance. Here's here's a, here's no, my here's my the, argument. That storyline B. Ha, here's story my argument. A if is, if the movie wasn't about the ship sinking. So what do you mean? What would be the back hold on, plot? Let me let me finish okay, what I'm okay, saying. Okay, okay. If the movie wasn't about the ship sinking and this historical event, then they wouldn't have called it Titanic and they would have called it Don't Let Go. Okay, that sentence to me didn't even make sense. Like, I don't even understand like what you're trying to say here. Why so did what? they just call the movie "Don't Let Go" if it's not about this historical event? Why did they capitalize on the actual name of the ship, Titanic, sunk in 1912? That's not the title. It's just Titanic, and you know who's in the movie poster, just as big as the ship, Jack and Rose. They're all in it together. It's not a romance movie. If it was not a romance movie, then why didn't they just have the ship go from it's, A and B and have it be a documentary? Titanic, it's a do- is, Titanic is a horror film. It's a tragedy. Not for everyone. Some people make it. Couple boats. It's a horror tragedy. Alex, I need some no, help no. here. Don't you dare. <laughs> You're not going to get help here because if, if Titanic was about the actual ship, the main characters would be the captain and the crew. Thank you. Not Rose and, and, Jack. and Jack. They w- they played a pretty big role. No, they did it. <laughs> they were basically in their one part and the guy's like, I guess I'm going down with my ship. That was, that was it. That, that was, was the part you remember. Yeah, that's <laughs> that was Alina's most important part of the movie for her was seeing the, sh- the captain yeah. go down with the ship. That was it. That's yeah. not important to me. That's just like, oh, damn. That's... Because remember, I remember always hearing as a kid, like, oh, captain goes down with the ship, captain goes out. And I was like, oh, damn, the captain's going down. But then I was like, where's Jack? Where's Rose? I didn't care about anyone else. I didn't I was care looking- about Jack or Rose. I cared about the hundreds of people wait, dying and the fact that this wait. actually happened in real life. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. If the movie was just about the ship, why is the biggest conversation about if Jack could fit on the doorframe with Rose? If it then was why just- Why did they call the movie- don't let go. Because Don't Let Go is a stupid movie title. Why are they calling because it the Titanic? Because they're bring trying it to in. capitalize on something that actually happened. And they're like, here's history. Okay. On a silver platter for they, you. They have to bring people in with the title. Why did James Cameron make a submersible and go look at the Titanic and study the ocean if he wasn't actually interested in making a movie about the Titanic? I'll tell you why. James Cameron is just like us. Okay. He's very obsessive and gets really into random things. Okay, so he's super in the Titanic and he's like, you know, it would be fun to make a rom-com with it's a sinking. Not a rom-com. <laughs> in no world is there comedy. There is some comedy. It's a romance or it's a horror tragedy. It's, I don't even know if tragedy is a is a film category. But it's to romantic me it is. adventure. It's an adventure. An adventure into the <laughs> bottom of the ocean. Only if you're Jack. If you're Rose, you make it to shore. What about the other hundreds of thousands of thousands of people that died. Yes, for them it's not a romance. <laughs> for them it was just an adventure gone wrong. But since the story is around Jack and Rose, you know what else is an adventure? This Dora the Explorer. She does have adventures, yes, but hers aren't romantic because she's still young. She's too young. There wasn't even that much romance in the movie. There's full on sex. There's a handprint and some. There's a naked drawing. That's not sex. That's, That's just sexual. Art. That's sexual. That's. Tits. I remember having to close my eyes during that part of the movie, and then when I found out what it actually was as an adult, I was like, "Wait, did you close your own eyes?" I was in a movie theater and it had hands on my eyes. Okay, so there was other people's hands on your eyes. Yeah. Okay. The handprint. You're gonna close my eyes for a handprint. Oh, you got close for the handprint. That's fine, girl. No eyes were. So closed. you saw the boobs. You didn't see the hand. I didn't see either. Oh, okay. So you really had no idea what was happening. So maybe you just don't know it's a romance because you didn't see it. Don't. <laughs> don't go there with me. So you think it's you think it's definitely a romance film. It's a huge romance. I have butterflies. I have chills up. When you think goo- about romance, you think about 
good bromance. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't think about hundreds of thousands of people dying. <laughs> okay, but you First do all, think of it's a thousand. It's 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 like wow. fifteen hundred people dying. Wow, it really was more significant in my life. <laughs> okay, but there's also always tragedy and romance. Think of the number one tragedy that ever existed. La La Land. Romeo and Juliet. Who dies there? Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, is that not a romance? It is who the holy grail of romances. We're basically being told. Yeah, but if they lives. die in a tragic fire that the director studies how fire starts for years and years and years, then that's kind of like a tragedy movie. This is the issue is like he wanted to be historically accurate and bring that to the rom-com because it made <laughs> it made it <laughs> more I legit every time you say rom. <laughs> it just adds another layer of giggles you know what i mean so, so like you, alex do you think it's a romance yes i think it's a romance because it's just like other romance movies it doesn't have to have a happy ending like la la land is a romance movie but, it yeah, but that's, happy this is taking happy endings to a, a whole new level it's like it's like it's not just going to be sad that they don't end up together. He's going to die tragically in the but that's Atlantic like, Ocean. Yeah. And, and yeah. The thousands of people are going to go down there with him. And they're going to be love. there forever. Yeah, it's a yeah. tragic romance. Movie. Yeah. That's what we grew up on, baby. No one made it out alive. Nobody. Who else dies? Basically everyone we know and love. I mean, everybody dies. Literally everyone dies. Everyone will die. Okay, too far. Now you've gone too far. That is too far. You know what else will die? The regular portion of this episode. Oh, damn. Oh, dang. You got us. You got us good. <laughs> I just feel like we need a whole redo of this whole episode because <laughs> you didn't agree with me on one thing. Okay, hold on one second. R- Norris should have never gotten that. No, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're allowed to disagree with me, but I thought maybe I'd get like one. One out of five? No, I feel like you got a lot. Tom Holland's hair. We were so on board with that. We were like, huh? that wasn't really an argument. Oh, okay. The lion photo. I agree. No, but no, that no. That could have that could have been Ollie. Let's you were be real. you were over the lion photo. You were over the apes. You were over Northwest. No, you were over Titanic. I'm so into the apes, though. I'm into the apes. I was just getting jealous that you were talking to Alex. That's where that came from. And so I was trying to like pull you guys away from each other, and I was like, Alex is so stupid. He likes the apes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's where that was coming from. Well, let's let's know where you stand, everyone listening, on these things. And if it's not in agreement with me, then don't comment it. <laughs> agreement? If Agreed. it's not in alignment with Alina, yeah. zip it. Then we don't need to know. Yeah. Um, well, we're going to do another 45 minutes in the bonus, which you can find at patreon.com slash awsfpod. If you can and would like to join us, we'll be there. We'll be chatting. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.